The obvious question is how do you work him in without upsetting chemistry and flow with everything that's going on? Well, right now? it's going to be, you know, it's obviously going to be a change with the chemistry and all that. You had guys, we've been five weeks into it, and working Anton back, um, you know, when Anton's healthy, he's out there, he's communicating today when he's fully healthy and all those things. I mean, it's just an adjustment period we got to go through, but, you know, we're, we're, we'll be fine. Is there a number of snaps you anticipate him taking on Saturday? Yeah, I anticipate him. You know, right now we're going to gauge it during practice, but right now at least half the snaps and um, face on play half the snaps is what we're what we're looking at right now as we evaluate it through the week. How did practice go today for Anton? You know, he was, he was good on some things, still a little rusty, he's got to shake off, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he'll be better tomorrow. Physically, does he seem like he is close to being in shape? I mean, he said he worked at it, but it's hard when you're... Right, yeah, he can't simulate, you know, what he's going to go through right now, so he'll work himself back into it. Um, you know, obviously he's not going to be where he'll be two or three weeks from now, but um, just working him back into it, I thought it was a good start. Why not say... Move him to safety. You know, I know it's you know, and, and have all of them out there at the same time. Um, no, we, well, we got we got two very good safeties. That tones the corner, that and, and that's that that's his position. You the information. Do you wonder you what know, you did to get lazy. this embarrassment of riches uh, at cornerbacks? All of a sudden, seems like a good problem for a you coach know what? to have. I guess it's better to have um, more than you need than not have enough. We went through that last year. You know, kind of. So we're scrambling, trying to find our identity back there on the back end, and this year it's kind of like, whoa, you know, we, you know, I don't want to say you got too many because then you say that, and all of a sudden you get a couple guys down. But um, you know, right now, um, I'm not embarrassed about it. I look at the guys I'm like, man, we're pretty talented. You know, it's just not figuring out. You said last year that you felt like you had the two best cornerbacks in the country when you brought them in. I mean, is there any sort of indication feeling like, hey, I told you so? I got to the two best cornerbacks in the country last year. No, um, there's no vindication, and I just know if I get two guys with a certain certain skill set and um, being the kind of kids that they are, I just felt good that those guys would be able to do well. And honestly, I didn't feel that they would play to the level that they played at, but um, you know, that's obviously been great for us. What do you think of Faison getting some looks at wide receiver, stealing some reps over there? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously it's plenty of time to be cut back at the cornerback spot as we work in tone in, so um, if that's that's something that um, the team is looking to kind of see how it goes. Yeah, that'd be great. Are you worried about it all? I mean, he's a young kid. You talk about how much he's still got to learn a corner. Hey, am I worried about his yeah, losing you know, some time at practice, losing some snaps? Uh, you know, I, I I took him aside and and I and I and I gave him a, a, a little talk. Um, you know, I understand. You know, I try to put myself in his shoes. I I understand that's going to be tough, but uh, you know, I just try to put it all in perspective and move forward. What do you need to see from Anton to go? He's back and he's Ready to get in oh man, there. you know, we're looking at North Carolina game last year and you see yeah, it's all makes some unbelievable plays and you know right now he's going to probably be a, a week or so away or maybe a couple weeks before you can see that that type of Anton, but like I say he's working himself back in, he's knocking off some rust. Well, how did it, you were here when Macho did it, right? In the year at that point. Mm -hmm. How did that work? Did you, I mean, how did you handle it then? Were you use that knowledge at all dealing with Brandon here? Having to play both ways. Well, you know, it's tough to be able to play both ways and understand the game plan. This, and even if you're doing whatever sample size, but um, you know, like I said, you know, we'll we'll see how much he's used on defense, and if it's a situation where Ray Tones working himself back more, I think it kind of works itself out. Does Brandon stay in your meeting room? Does he split time meeting rooms wise? Oh, Brandon's in my meeting room. He's the defensive back. He's not